Everybody, what is up? It is Lynn. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you doing? Happy weekend. Hope you're still enjoying your Sunday wherever you are in the world. It's quite late over here now, but I'm bringing you another little tea video because there is actually quite a lot of stuff that's been going on. I just haven't had like all the time in the world to make videos recently with work and stuff, but I do want to get in on some things that I've seen going around about Amber Heard. I mean, the other day on Twitter, Amber Heard, Amber Heard, Amber Turd. I already did make videos about this Amber Heard, Johnny Depp case. And I don't know, but like, is it just me? But every time you look at this case now, it's like something about this case is being memed or, you know, made fun of on the internet or another celebrity is making fun of it. Somebody in my comments recently pointed out that yes, Drew Barrymore made fun of the whole Johnny Depp Amber Heard case on her show and now people on Twitter were getting outraged and calling for Drew Barrymore's show to be cancelled. I did actually see Drew Barrymore's apology that she uploaded online. I didn't make a video on that at the time because I was working and stuff but I did actually see that apology and I was like what the F is going on with this where you've got Drew Barrymore kind of taking the piss out of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case then having to apologise, it's, I don't know what's going on, it's like this whole kind of case is being turned into a complete joke, from everything like where Milani Cosmetics called Amber Heard out for lying about the compact that she was carrying to allegedly cover her bruises and all of that stuff. Now, Milani, I talked about this in a previous video, but Milani actually said, no, actually that's not our makeup compact that she was carrying because our makeup compact didn't come out until the year after whatever year after that they were divorced I think it was so it was like hang on a minute Amber's lying I have actually been able to watch some of the courtroom footage this week this past week I tell you at one point I pretty much like checked out because I was looking at Amber on the stand of course because now Amber Heard's taken the stand you know Johnny Depp has had his go but Amber Heard's taken the stand and I was watching her and I was like this acting is just really really bad really bad like you can legit tell that the woman is acting you can legit tell she's acting like she's sitting there on the stand like trying to squeeze out a tear it's like a really bad kind of youtube beauty guru apology video you know watching her sitting there trying to squish out a tear as she's talking on the stand you know telling her side of what happened but it wasn't only that something that i saw on twitter the other day that i saved immediately was this little clip this little clip of amber doing snow in the courtroom on the stand I was like ah, how how are you gonna be in court on the stand giving your testimony about how you were abused by Johnny Depp and you're doing that like I'm old, I've been around, you know, I've seen a few things, I've done a few things myself. So when I saw this immediately, I was like, girl, are you telling me that she's doing coke in court? Like, I was shook. I was shook, absolutely shook at that one. And then today it came out that Amber Heard, her name on IMDb had been changed to Amber Turd. Amber Turd. I think Amber Turd is an amazing drag name. Can you imagine? Please, welcome to the stage. Amber Turd. Like, I love that for a drag name. I think that's actually really awesome and I hope someone takes it. You know, I would take it myself, but I already have a name. So, Amber Turd. I mean, I think that's funny. I would actually really, really laugh if someone took that as a drag name. I think... 
that would be awesome to see like an amber turd on Dragula or Drag Race or something. That would be so cool. You know, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to make fun of the court case or what the court case is about, but there have been so many moments that come from it that do make me laugh. Like the whole thing where Johnny Depp was drawing a portrait of his lawyer and then he tapped him on the shoulder and handed it to him. Did you see that? That was cute. That was really cute. And then so much other stuff like Amber, it's just bad acting. Like bitch needs to pay for more acting lessons. But Johnny Depp has been funny. Every time he's been answering back when the lawyers or Amber's lawyers are pressing him and every time he's been answering back it's been hilarious like i really like johnny from this i've come out of this really liking him you know i liked him before anyway because i like a lot of the films that he's in but this court case has really made me like hate amber heard i mean to be honest i'd never really heard of her that much before but now i know that johnny depp is of course not working with disney anymore either so Disney are getting in shit this year. Disney have been in shit this year anyway for supporting various kind of anti-gay organisations like with money, you know, all of this. Surrounding the whole Florida don't say gay bill, it's all to do with that. I think I talked about that in another video ages ago, but Disney, they got problems. People are now saying boycott Disney because Johnny Depp isn't working with Disney. But now Aquaman, Amber Heard is in Aquaman, Aquaman 2, her scenes have been cut down to 10 minutes. I think that's 10 minutes too much. I think they should cut her out altogether. Like, she doesn't deserve any screen time. And then the other thing that I was going to talk about in this video was actually Morphe, because Morphe, Morphe brushes, Morphe cosmetics, whatever you want to call them, they're in a lawsuit at the moment because of palettes that they were selling that they had influencers faces on like Jacqueline Hill, James Charles, Nikita Dragon, all of them. They're in trouble because some of the palettes that they were selling had pigments in them that apparently weren't safe for around the eye area. Now, Cody Rance is a YouTuber who previously had a problem with the James Charles Morphe palette. The hives that I'm getting on my eyes are not from my makeup remover or base. I've used both of the products for years. Never had highs from them. I use them literally every day. I got a sister sleigh wherever I go. But James did not warn me about the staining. He didn't tell any of us. I watched all his promotions on the palette. He didn't say that it would look like I have eyeshadow on still after I tried to remove it. I can safely say you should skip using the color skip. People are trying to say because it's a pressed pigment that I should know that pressed pigments can stain. None of the others did this. Explain that, Mr. Charles. I don't care what formula it has, but you should never, ever, ever try to promote a product that does this. So Dustin Daly, Rich Larks, other people have made videos about this topic. But what I found quite interesting was when you actually went to look at the article that Dustin Daly linked in his video about this whole Morphe class action lawsuit. There's an article and read through it. It talks about how a lot of the palettes had ingredients that they shouldn't have had it in that weren't safe for eye area. Like on Jacqueline Hill's palette, it was Carmine. And Jacqueline, I really do remember this instance. Like... Jacqueline was trying to sell this Morphe 2 palette, this Jacqueline Hill, Morphe 2? No, not Morphe 2, Jacqueline Hill Volume 2, the one with all the reds where she had the purple outfit on for the photo shoot. She was trying to sell this palette as a vegan, vegan formula, but it turned out that it wasn't because it actually had carmine in it. So like crushed bugs, crushed ants, crushed bugs non-vegan then the formula in the eyeshadows is non-vegan and Jacqueline I remember this Jacqueline Hill oh yeah it's all vegan it's all vegan it's all safe crushed bugs in it love 
pages and pages and pages of information in this class action lawsuit but it does state in the lawsuit that if any customers of Morphe have bought something that's caused them harm or irritation then they can get in on this class action lawsuit uh, so like Morphe stand to lose huge amounts of money because of this you know allegedly one of the Morphe stores already got in trouble because they couldn't pay their rent and now this class action lawsuit is going to cost the brand loads of money if you imagine how many people have bought Morphe products and had it stain them or had eye irritation from the pigment in the eyeshadows whatever like this could cost the brand millions like i've actually got a morphe palette here the morphe nikita dragon palette and i tell you one thing i notice when i use this palette a lot of it you can see i've used it a little bit but these shades all of these absolutely stain your eyes like you can't get it off for days it's that bad so morphe like what the fuck going on but honestly like a lot of this palette the reds the pinks the purples it all stains seriously like and i know people might say oh you know well that's nothing you just put concealer over it whatever but seriously that nikita palette when i put it on i had it on for days afterwards like eye makeup remover makeup melt everything and it was still with me for days afterwards and i was going to work with like red eyelids so like, I get it, I get why Cody Rance kicked off about the James Charles palette. However, unfortunately when I went and looked it up in this article, read the whole thing, the class action lawsuit is only open to US residents. So if you're a US resident who's had problems with Morphe products, then you might well be able to claim and get your little bit of money back, get the items that you bought back at least out of this class action lawsuit if you're interested in joining it i would recommend go and check dustin daly's video because he's got all the information in his description box in his video on this topic but everywhere else in the world if you've bought morphe products that have given you a reaction or whatever you know you're just gonna have to try and take it up locally but girl it doesn't look good right it really doesn't look good for morphe but you know I wonder if something like this will happen in the UK because, as I said, you know, even me with that Nikita palette that I showed you, it's shit. I stay away from using it because it stains my face that much that I'm left with it like four or five days after. So I stopped using it, period, because of that. Anyway, guys, let me know all your thoughts on everything going on with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and also let me know your thoughts on the whole Morphe situation. Let me know if you've bought stuff from Morphe that's caused a reaction on your face or anything like that. I'm really curious to see because I think this could be a really, really big thing. Anyway, guys, love you. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.